Hi there and welcome back to Japan where I am doing a few baby metal songs today because I'm trying to churn off basically all of the baby metal songs. I think I've done all of the singles now. I'm trying to hear all of them on these first two albums before the new one comes out so I can draw up a top 10 which we've been talking about on this channel for a while. If you haven't heard my baby metal reviews I've pretty much reviewed almost everything so go back and check them out. But for today we were running through four album tracks in a row in the right order that I hadn't heard before and I thought it'd be a nice thing to do as I'm catching up on a couple of slow days where I haven't been able to post anything due to traveling back to Japan from Korea. Um, so what did we have so far? We had Amore followed by um, something Taro, I'm really bad at remembering names, followed by Syncopation or Synchronicity, I can't remember that name either, but hey, now it's GJ. So um, yeah, the last ones were good. We had two big melodic songs and we had a real crazy hard rock song. So where GJ is going to go, I don't know. And when it comes to album order, it could go any direction it wants, but I suppose following on from Syncopation, I'm expecting something a little bit on the heavy side. So here we go this is gj and let's see as well if by the end of the song i can work out what gj stands for it's, <laughs> you guys might be laughing now because i'm either going to find that it's really painfully obvious or it's not here we go somewhere between music and building a shed Kind of reminds me of a new metal riff. Oh, uh, and that little bit of production was a nice little touch. I like it, it's rhythmic. I think I was right on the new metal reference. Loving the rhythm of this. Fingers crossed for a good chorus. That went much more pop than I expected, but that was a nice contrast. You know, it's, you're kind of thinking it's going to fall into a new metal tropes, but they added their baby metal touch to it and kept it metal as well. Best cowbell ever. Great stuff. Okay, so I actually really enjoyed that song and there was a few reasons that um, I can really point out for that. Um, it wasn't perfect, no, 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 I'm sure not, but I'm sure it won't be the number one on my uh, baby metal top 10 list, but it was really good and it appealed to me a lot as well. I did kind of, uh, as I've said, I mean, a lot of people have been very harsh. It's probably the most hated genre of all time, with the exception of disco, is uh, new metal. And it seems to be very much going along the new metal line. So, you know, I can understand it maybe not to be to everyone's appeal, but one of the things that, well, I mentioned a few things that I really liked about it. First of all, was the, the riff. Um, the riff was really good. It had that thing that a good new metal riff would have. I mean, some of the worst ones, if you think about the bad new metal bands, the really annoying ones, it was usually because they had very sort of boring, rhythmless 
riffs as well as you know i mean some of the other tropes that we all know very new metal but some of the things that really stood out as being examples of bad writing tended to be lazy riffs where it was very sort of one two three four one two three four but without the sort of speed that would aid something like that in a punk song so when you're doing something like new metal which is more mid-tempo and which i would consider this as being along those lines you need to have a bit of a bounce to it and the riff in this was fantastic straight from the get-go it was really really frying you around before i even realized that, that was kind of the genre that this was aiming towards um the verses were nice as well they um did something which was kind of akin to rap um had a sort of a hip hop -y, um uh, wrapped vibe to it but they played to their strengths they you know they kept it with a good rhythm used their voices as the you know the tool to really give it some uh, some thickness some feel um and then in came in that chorus and the chorus was really interesting because it's a full-on pop chorus and of course this is another thing in the same way that obviously we i mentioned that new metal and <laughs> disco are two of the hated genres i mean pop is obviously the universal bad guy that everyone's always got a downer anyone who claims to be a, a a real music fan will usually have a downer on pop um if they have a downer on any genre at all that is um and which i, I find interesting because pop tends to be the genre which is the least restrained it's the one that has the most options available to it and that does come across a lot in the writing don't get me wrong i know that pop has been responsible for most of the great travesties in in musical history but when it's done properly it is a genre where you can kind of get away with most things because um, it just means popular music. Um, so when it comes to this, the chorus was very pop and in all of the good ways. You know, it had an interesting melody. It was very bright and that kind of that bright, happy feeling. It, I was wondering, does that really settle with the rest of the song? Is it too much of a contrast in tone that the tone is too inconsistent? But um, I probably get a feel for that more after I've had a few more listens. But I do think that the change in tone seems to work just because we've heard so many of those kind of rhythmic metal or new metal songs before that... Um, we're used to expecting a hardcore chorus to follow it so in a way this kind of more contrasts the genre that came before it than uh, anything else which means it's kind of refreshing in that sense but the pop first uh, sorry the pop chorus was a really nice touch i enjoyed that um and it was well written it was a good pop chorus like i said good melody good pop chord pattern so i've gone around in a circle a little bit there but um you get my point it had a lot of the good things about those and it subverted a lot of the expectations you know when you starting to think oh this is just going to be a tribute to new metal it went in a bit of a different direction now one of the things that, um, and sorry if everyone thinks I'm uh, belaboring the point for the new metal comparison, but I do think that's kind of where we're going with this. So I think uh, considering it matches a lot of those things, it's a good comparison to draw. One of the things that, um, again, was one of the points between good new metal and bad new metal is um, at its height, good, new metal is very good at doing really weird, atmospheric, interesting, or just sort of um, really energetic bridges you know you always have your riff verse chorus verse chorus bridge chorus um kind of like rock and roll style um and so you know bridges are a big thing in this style of music because i guess when you're relying on so much on the verses being uh, rap based and everything's just kind of more down to rhythm the bridge is the only place where you really get to have an instrumental break where you can focus a lot on melody this didn't really it had some interesting points but the bridge did feel a little bit um i think the word i'm looking for is perfunctory i haven't used that word enough recently that i can really guarantee that i'm actually using it correctly so let me explain before anyone jumps in and tells me i know nothing about the english language um basically it just sort of seemed like it was there and it, it happened and it it kind of came and went with a certain degree of efficiency but it didn't really seem to add anything it didn't seem to have much in the way of purpose and it did feel a little bit like a sort of a generic here's a really heavy metal um bridge there were moments when i thought it was going to be good but it, uh, the other thing is it didn't throw you into the last chorus this is something i've talked about sometimes before and some people have correctly mentioned i've maybe said that a few times that i do believe like a, a guitar solo or a bridge should have that thing of throwing you into the last chorus it doesn't always have to work that way but when you've got certain songs like this um yeah, if, if that was the bridge they were going to go for, then it would have been a few tweaks away from having that effect. Um, if you are going to do a loud bridge in a loud song, then it should serve that purpose, in my opinion. I can't see any other way that that would go. Um, 
because there's not a contrast in tone. If they'd gone for a quieter bridge, then maybe you could have had more of a sort of shock value, or if they'd just gone for something that rocked through consistently in the, like a mid late, um, probably just getting too boring now talking about technicalities now, but I think you guys know what I mean. Basically though, uh, so yeah, the bridge wasn't as spectacular as maybe it could have been, but lots of things were great about it. Like I say, just the fact that the chorus was um, unexpected, but was a really good example of good, pop played through a metal sound so sort of that metal uh filter and, um and then you had that riff which was really good maybe they could have used that a bit more actually uh, i really enjoyed that riff and maybe a little bit more of that being eked into things would have been fantastic and the verses worked it was just a good solid example of a baby metal take on new metal and i did say this before about one of the uh, uh black bay metal songs which i can't remember the name i think it might have been sis anger there's only two of them so if i've got that wrong that's me losing a 50-50. So yeah, basically a uh, good song, lots of great things about it. Not perfect, but certainly well worth the listen. And it will be on my playlist while I'm trying to work out my top 10. Although I, 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 It's one of those ones where at the moment in my head, I, I would imagine it'd be sitting somewhere around the bottom of that list, struggling to get in. But we'll see. More listens could change my opinion. This is the sort of thing I might well warm up to it or it could get a bit tiresome in the way that new metal did in reality so for now from japan um this is the fourth of four singles in a row from the latest the second uh baby metal album that i've been listening to in this little batch i'm going to be doing more baby metal probably looking a bit more at the first album in the coming videos while i try and tick them all off but if you haven't listened to them go back uh, like i say four baby metal videos in a row in this batch so for now from japan Ciao.